Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, we are actually going to be playing a new game on this channel, but this is not going to be a series. So, let me explain this through a little, through, real quick. So, as you probably might still be able to hear, I am still a little sick, so I didn't want to do a bunch of reading while doing the, while continuing Danganronpa, but I am still going to continue it probably next week when I'm feeling better. So in today's video, I'm just going to be showing off my Animal Crossing island, which I myself am actually never played any Animal Crossing games until this one. It's been, it was actually my very first, um, well I wouldn't say actually first now that I think about it. I forget which one it was, but it was on the Wii. I played it through a little bit, of, but I didn't really play it for long. So I'm just going to really go around, show you my island. I haven't actually played, I haven't played Animal Crossing in a little while, so my island's probably going to be a bit messy, and it's going to take some time to fix. Well, not necessarily fix, but like clean up. But I'll I'll show you what like I do on what I would do on for a daily day for a normal day in Animal Crossing. I do like how the little loading screen does change depending on the season, it whatever the season is. Which, being as because Animal Crossing uses your actual in-game clock. Depending on what it, it actually is during the the year, like if it's uh, November, it'll be all snowy. And it's been a while, so I've kind of forget who I have on my island. But let's just get right into it. So. Isabel's going to appear first. I'm I'm sure you plenty of you guys have seen so many different Animal Crossing videos because, you know, it's already a super popular game. And people have been making videos on this game long before I even made YouTube videos. It does feel a little quiet though. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Sea Breeze, it's Sorry. Oh, by the way, yeah, I named my island Sea Breeze mostly because um, I wanted to add island, but it wasn't large enough. But this is when they were third. So when they were third to the island, it's Sea Breeze Island. But anyways, it's 5:31 p.m. Friday, April 21st, 2023. I don't have any big news t to share with you all today, but I would like to touch touch on the socialist topics. Earlier today, a, client, a clump of bamboo caught, was caught in my eye and reminded me of a piece of historical... His, draw that? Sorry. Did you know that, the, that this time of, of year is perfect for harvesting fresh bamboo, or young spring bamboo? Which also reminds me to remind you to get crafting and enjoy some of this season's DIY projects. That's all for today. Have fun. Have have a fun day out there. Yeah, as you can see, my hair is all a mess. Let's see what's in my mail. Cherry blossom portrait dance upon the wind. Some kind of some kind of bizarre but I'm breeze with them. It's small grace and face that as I watch as the petals fall, all all is well until <laughs> to bomb. Okay. Let's see what's in here. The other is one of those mail that is a piece of mail that it kinda explains oh, this is what's uh about like your upgrades through your house. So I do I don't remember what everything I have in my inventory is. 
And as you can see up here, I have a bunch of bamboo and stuff growing. This was originally a Zen garden area, but I changed it through my. This is where I decided to keep my house, but I still did keep a bunch, keep a bit of uh, the kind of Zen. So I'm going back in here because, yep, there'll be roaches running around your house if you don't play through a certain amount of time. So I need to go back from room to room and kill them. It also gives me a chance to show you all the rooms in my house. This room is probably my favorite. See, some of the stuff in here, like the cart, like the little rug and this bridge, are actually from the the Sanrio DLC amiibo cards, which I actually got as Christmas present ones. Let's see. It's been a, oh, this is really the only music I have? Wow. This isn't actually the first account I played Animal Crossing on, but that account is kind of like my family's, so I shifted over to having my own separate account. That way I could play without getting kicked off or anything when someone else was using the account. So, a lot of stuff is still on that account, which you will still see the house for that area. But, um, yeah, so that's that. Also, as you can see in some of the rooms, I have a bunch of the Zodiac themed items. Like the Virgo Harp, the Scorpio Lamp, the um, Pisces Lamp, the Gemini Closet, which I'll... Uh, yeah, which I'll actually change out this to show you some of the clothes I have. See, this is just all the clothes I have in my storage. Some either I've been given or got them a balloon. Okay, so let's see. I like this. I'll probably go with this. Also, right here, again, another one of the Sanrio DLC characters. I'm sure you all know, not all, but I'm sure a lot of you know of uh, Cinnamon Roll. Okay, now pants. I like these ones. But I think these look better. And these are all like dress up stuff. Uh, I got a lot of these kind of like kimonos and stuff. Or robes, mostly because I find them, I really like how they look. Uh, I'm not really sure I'm gonna put a hat on. I've never been a fan of hats. Hmm. I did, I like using the mask because it does kind of look nice. I might actually wear some glasses though. And bags. Yep, I like this. Oh, yep, there's this. So, okay. Yep, th basically just change up your look. And I got some Nook Miles for that. I can get some more if I basically cook a s cook something. Oh wait, I have another one. Must be further down here somewhere. Nope. Yep. How do you work? Put put more furniture in, into your house. Nooking will give you miles based on the number. Okay. Oh, I'm assuming I'm. Uh, the, I'm assuming this is probably from like. You know, the last time I played, I added something some enough stuff into my house, but I didn't do it, and then I just stopped playing. There's still bugs around here. You'll the game will let you know when all the bugs are out, and when they are, I will show you around my island. This is the area I'm kind of made into a kitchen. See, uh, this there's this. I do like that I can use this right here to actually cook, which was added in the last big. Uh, expansion and they separate stuff from like savory you need uh see it explains 
Uh, I have a small garden area where this stuff grows. So you need you need wheat through that. Through, you need wheat through flour. Uh, basically, fl through both these both kinds of flowers, and you need sugar cane through both different types of sugar. And then you'll also need certain items as well to make certain dishes. But as you can see, here's the sweet select. Here's some of the other dishes still. And this basically just shows you what you with what items you have in your inventory what you can make. Which uh it, I can remember how yeah, I have a lot of stuff. Stuff in the DLC, not DLC, uh, amiibos, some hollow a bunch of holiday stuff that I'll usually take out through, depending on the time of the year kind of to get my island to that kind of theme and just some and maybe also just some small stuff I just don't happen to have and that kind of stuff I probably I think I have a lot more wallpaper than with other stuff because they like I'm constantly changing up how my room areas look I do like some of the rugs though. These are some of the clothing I have. I only have two creatures in here, mostly because I don't focus on catching creatures. And here's just basically other like tools and, and items you would hold. Like the gyroids, which I think these are just duplicates. I can't remember. Uh, some mushrooms I, I picked during uh, the fall season. The customizing kit that basically allows you to change how items, certain items look. A bunch of wood. Uh, some bamboo. Plenty of gold. Oh, this is actually the young spring bamboo that Isabel was talking about, which you can, like the name says, you can only really get during the springtime. Mostly around April-ish. I think maybe May. But you can't get it that late. Oh, and then there's the ornaments, which again... Like with the like with the spring bamboo, you can only get these near like in December. These can only be the snowflakes can only be got during winter. And these you, you can only get certain ones during Okay, let me explain a little bit more. So during a meteor shower or whatever it is called, you can wish on shooting stars and then they will come up come back to your island as star fragments and if you're lucky during certain days of during certain days in between months they might come out to be a zodiac fragment like the Virgo fragment or, or the Taurus which fun fact I myself am a Taurus and then there's just other stuff like eggs from egg day these stuff from the heart crystals from Valentine's Day and just some other stuff I've caught, not caught up, you know what I mean, like I picked up. I'm just going to put this in storage. Again, I'm just going to keep putting, I'll look, might look at these at another time, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, some. Okay, so there's about two more rooms left in the house that I don't, th no wait just one which is the attic which I think after I kill the roaches up there the entire house should be clean it's been a while since I've been in this room yep yep there's still more yep it's kind of like a gaming area and if you can if you can probably hear it as right now but yep I have an entire wall of gyroids. Which, see, if I... Since there's no music playing, they're all going at random. But if I play music... Yep. I really like that detail. That they actually kind of change... Like, they all... Say, like go in tune okay so just because I've been into every room means that there I'm not really don't have to go into detail when I'm exploring 
but I need to go keep going back and forth until I find the kill the rest of the roaches. Which I always found this part annoying. See, there's more. I mean, you basically need to keep entering every room and kill roaches until it, the game tells you you've killed all of them. Also, you can see on the wall right there that there's the Sagittarius bow, which, in fact, was the very first of the Zodiac recipes I've, I got. Okay, I killed... You, when you kill one of the roaches, you actually get a little... They joy, the Joy-Cons actually vibrate, which I think is a nice little detail. Okay, the last... Hopefully, I am. this will be the last of them. I probably need to clean up my island a little bit from all the weed stuff that le they've left overgrown. Okay, there's still more, which hopefully the next one will be the last. Do you need to go back up there? If this is if the next one isn't the last one, I'm just gonna uh, go out and look on my uh, like actually show you my island. Yeah, that it wasn't the last. Oh, wait, it was. Oh, good. All those pesky cockroaches are, are gone. I think I'm feeling much better now. Okay, so now I can actually show you my island. I kind of pretty much forget who's on my island at this point because it's been so long. But I'll try to remember. Yeah, I made my entire house around these, like, waterfalls. So, because I, I think it looked nice. I do have the warp pipes. Because I think it's actually cool that I can use them to get around my island. Uh, so, I do wish I could build uh, more over here, but I can't. Usually, I'll only go here to make sure there isn't any, you know, any not any weeds growing over there or anything. I forget what it, what, what these were for. Well, I forget the name of the event, but you basically had to collect a certain amount of feathers for like a festival where you could use them to make recipes and stuff. I think I have some of that stuff still, you know, somewhere on the island. When, once I'm finished gathering all the weeds I can find, I'll probably bring them to Leaf, because he'll buy them for double the price that I can sell them. So yeah, but usually my I, my daily routine in Animal Crossing would be to get all the weeds. Like, any weeds that pop up. Okay, got those. Didn't want to pick any of the roses. Um, oh, there's probably, a, there's a fossil or a dry road over there. Hmm. Didn't know I so somebody moved out. Huh. Probably just forgot. Most likely answer. Here we are. Yep, a fossil. Yeah, I put Nook's Crady over here, kind of, mostly because I think thought it looked nice. And in between these houses, I kind of made like a little playground area. So I'm gonna, I also, I mostly pick up any fruit that any of the trees have because I don't really use them for any kind of recipes or anything because there's not much I can, I need them for anymore. So I mostly just use just sell them. And I wonder if Gulliver is gonna be on the beach today. He'll sometimes wash up on the shore. Also, there are DIY recipes that can that wash up that will wash up on shore every day. Oh, there's Cap'n over there. Uh, if I pay him, pay him a certain amount of bills, he'll take me to a random island. That I can use to either maybe find find like gyroids, which I think are the only which I think are the only way to actually start getting them on your island. 
Oh, right there, as you can see, there's a message in a bottle, which will always have a DIY recipe. Because the game will give you at least one every day in the form of these bottles. I dream that I was I I dream that I would say super ultra big time master of DIY. Here's the recipe I made in my dreams. It's really easy. My head was all my head was stuck in my shirt and I, I was still I still did the DIY. Be careful be careful when you do it. That was a joke by by Mo the by Mother Smart Guy. Mossy Guard Mossy Garden Rock. Oh. Didn't remember I had that. So let's just take a quick uh, look at what I what recipes I do have. Have the, I have all the basic tools. Some of the basic furniture from the beginning. All the stuff I can buy. Oh. This, I forgot I had this. You only get this if you have the DLC. Well, not really necessarily the DLC, but like the expansion, which I had it through a while, which basically, you know, it's like a fake wall thing that you can put up in your house. This is the recipe I just got, since I already know how to make it. And there's some other stuff, like a bunch of gold stuff that I, that I could make. Uh, so here are some more stuff. A bunch of space themed stuff. Here's all the zodiac stuff. Which I do like how they're all unique but still similar in a in a way. This one's actually one of my favorite bamboo um recipes you can get. And here are some of the these are some of the Thanksgiving or turkey day items you can get. This is the only one of the Halloween items I've gotten on this playthrough because I stopped playing Animal Crossing for a while. Winter, uh, toy day, which is, you know, kind of cri is supposed to be Christmas. And these are all the cooked dishes. So that's about everything. So I'm going to finish getting these. Actually, I think that's going to be enough for now. I mean, I'm not going to pick up any of these. I mean, like, throw this side. Because I don't want to spend most of the time just picking up and focusing on one area. I want to I want to be able to cover this, cover everything. Well, not necessarily everything, just a lot. Just most of everything. So I'm probably not going to get all the fruit. I'll probably do that off camera. I was just going to sell it anyway, so it's not like there's you'll be missing on on anything big but let's see okay I believe this is Pico B no this is Blanche Blanche's house P I remember where um, who P Pico's house is Blanche's is actually one of my favorites ha favorites her house is a little vague but that's mostly because I'm pretty sure she ended up giving me the shelf that I have in my house it used to sit right here and she gave it to me so her, her house is a little more empty. I did give her this wardrobe for her birthday before, but that was back when I didn't know that you only had one chance to give a villager something on their birthday. I also gave her this white rose. I thought it matched her, kind of like her co color scheme. I also just gave her bread as a gift just to kind of get her friendship up. Oh my, what? Sorry, oh my. Now here's a face I haven't seen in quite in quite some time. What's go? What on earth has kept you away for so long? Well, the more the important thing is that you is that I've seen you seem well, knowing that you've been uh, keeping busy, very busy. Do you spend most most of your time on the island, or even just or did you just forget today? Quite so. I can't remember the last time I talked to her. I'll see if I can show you some of the their houses. Some of them might not be inside, so you might not get to see theirs. Let's see. Uh, who lives here? Uh, Elio. I believe she's in Yellow Elephant. See, this leads back to where we were, like, by Nook's Cranny. I think this is Thranks? Nope. 
I don't think he's home because the light's not on. I'm probably not gonna get all the fossils either, mostly because again, you are. I've already showed you exactly what you do. I'll just I end up. I'll end up just doing that like four times, like four more times. So if I'm lucky, one of the one of the normal tree will drop a item. If I'm unlucky, however, they'll drop a wasp's nest. Oh, speak of the devil. The only way to get away from the wasp nest is that you have to enter, like, a house or something. And I messed up. I was so close. Uh, dang it. Uh, I just need to make some medicine, which I should now be able to do because of the wasp nest that just fell. Yep. Okay, so I can make that, so I'll go right up here. And make some medicine. Oh, whoops. Okay. There we go. Whoops. And this is the central area. So this is kind of like you know, where you, that like, the thirst island you have access to. Like, that thirst, but, like, the, the thirst part of the island you have access to is m more correct. This is Town Hall, as you can see. Down here is my fruit orchard kind of, like, thing. This is where most of my money comes from. Because it's just a bunch of fruit trees. Is there anything over here? Oh, there. Go there. <laughs> Y'all, can't you see that I... Just give me a... It's a bait. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, okay, let's just continue to pick up stuff. Again, see? There's bamboo. There's still some bamboo over here. And some bamboo benches. Mostly because I thought they looked nice. And because they're the kind of benches... Um, one that you can just... It, depending on it doesn't matter where you sit on it because you can sit on it from behind or forwards and it still looks right like it doesn't look like you're sitting in the wrong or anything and this is the smaller area of the island this is where I grow my, all my pumpkins I have been unlucky and have not I haven't gotten a single white pumpkin Oh, this is Pico's house. This is who I was saying at the beginning. Like, not the beginning, but, like, who I mistaked Blanche with. Oh, she's making a recipe. She might t teach me it. Noah? Wow. It's great to see you again. Where have you been all this time? I dropped by your place looking for you, but you were never home. I bet you went on a secret mission. Yeah, super, super complex, etc. But that feels... Filled with danger... At every turn. Sorry, but that's kind of an adventure novel cake. Hmm. Welcome back. And sorry, that happened because I hadn't talked to her before. Sorry, I was really focused on this. What are you doing? I'm crafting a huge, a huge statue. DIY is a is a great way to learn. I'm totally obsessed with it. Noah, do you want to learn how to how to make a hedge? I mean, yeah, I can't read that last word. I'm sorry, I'm dyslexic and stupid. I can't read. But yeah, I would like to learn it. Alright, I'll write down the details right here. You should. It should be easy for you. I actually do not know what it is. Give it a try when, you, when you're done with the materials. I do really like her room. Oh, she, basically, she's had everything in here except this. Uh, kind of like tea set that I gave her. And this bamboo lunchbox, which I think fits her theme, like, kind of like, oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. 
What are inside? Let's just take a teeny peek. There's nothing in here. I didn't realize this was a dresser. I thought this was just a... At least in where, it's, where it was. I really want to get these little uh, plant she has. But anyways, let's check out what she gave me. Okay, sweet. Okay, let's see what it looks like. It will usually... Yep, it'll pop up right here. Oh, it's I see. It's one of those like uh, fake plant things. Like kind of what you what you would see during a play or a musical, you know what I mean? I remember building a shortcut over here, over by her house. See these vines? These used to lead up to my old house on my main playthrough. See, this is the garden. Yep, lots of flowers. And this is my old house. Yep. I can't go inside. I d at least I don't think I can. Oh, I can. But I'm pretty sure there isn't anything inside. Because I believe they took everything out. Except maybe like a bed. Yep. I remember. There's nothing in here. It's basically as much rooms as my last... As my house currently does. But... It was close to having a basement, but anyways, I kind of more use this area as like a garden because it also has access to all the kind of vegetable items. Yeah, so this is the garden, and there's more vines that allow me to easily get up and down from over here. Nope. Stuck through a sec. But anyways, yeah, this... And then I go down here. See, this is where... Again, this leads right back to the main area. I think I've gotten almost, every, almost all the weeds. See, right here, this is what I said about the stuff from the festival still being around. Oh, sorry. Something in my nose. <sighs> Got it. Sorry. So let's finish getting these weeds and head over to Hearth's Island. So usually, like, there would be some, there'd be kind of like little, uh, kind of, kind of like merchants that would pop up every, like, once in a while on your island. They would sell you. They would sell specific, specific things, but you would never know when they would appear. But with heart, when you finally have access to Harvest Island, you're actually able to pay a certain, like a huge amount of bells. Oh, I should fix that. To have them permanently stay there, which is really convenient. Especially if they're, I forget his name, but he's a fox that sells art. And he's the only way you can actually get art through the museum. Okay, these should be the last of the weeds I have to get. Uh, before we head over, I want to check out the Able Sisters real quick. This is basically where you can buy different kinds of clothing and stuff. They've... The Able Sisters, uh, yep, up. Oh. hey Mabel, hey there, welcome to, welcome to, to Able Sisters, where all your fashion, we sell all your fashion lovely accessories by claw. Let's see, let's see what, let's see, hmm, hmm, I don't really like anything, any of the shirts, whoops, uh, not, don't really like the pants either. Yeah, I like the crown. Mm. Yeah, I'll just buy a crown. I like it. Oh, I just realized it kind of clips through the bun I have. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, I just realized. I haven't checked that. haven't shown the museum. But, uh, I don't have a lot there. And I don't think it would... I think it would be kind of boring. Especially if I didn't go in a, into actual look and show you everything. But let's just go to Harb's Island and talk to uh, Leith and sell the weeds to finish this off. If you guys like... If you actually enjoy this video... I might try to make more Animal Crossing content. It just depends on certain things. Hey there. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to your one and only gateway to the to the Strixie Sea Breeze Airport. How can I help you out today? I want to fly. Roger. By the way, you got a Nook Mile ticket with your name with your name on it behind the desk here. You you can so use that whenever. So just all the, just. Just get all the paperwork all official. Where where do you where'd you wanna go? This at Harv's Island. Harv's Island? Roger that, good buddy. I can set you up right now, but are you ready while we're packed up and stuff? Time for takeoff. Alright. Let's get you airborne. Dodo one, this is Dodo Tower. Wilbur Copy? I gotta sorry. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need your trouble, just th just think, what would the what would Dodos do? I like this little thing. I like how the loading screen changes to a plane. Touchdown, polished rocks, and the wild chain. We're pr we're packed and proud. Give a quick wait back. Okay, yep, this is Herb's Island. This is Harv, or Harvey for short. I mean, for, that's his full name. I mean, see, this is what I mean. See, all some of these characters, like her and Tornamore, and these guys, are actually old Animal Crossing characters. But anyways, I may, mostly came here to talk to Leaf. Um, hello. Is if it isn't the most perfect day to show for flowers. This week I'd love to recommend the lovely or er, Raja Serpent. It's a season right now, so I hope you'll try raising a few. I'm happy to know what what you can do what I can do for you today. Let's talk weeds. If you've got weeds, I'm buying twenty bells a, a glimpse. If I'm counting this right, you've got you got one hundred and thirty two glimpse of weeds, so that would be hmm, yes. Two thousand six hundred and forty bells. So can I buy your wheat? All your weeds? Okay. Thank you kindly. Can I help you with anything else? I'm good. Till next time. Yep. The most of them just sell other stuff. Hmm. Uh, let's just. Check over here. Welcome, champ. Have a look around. No rush, no rush at all. Uh, let's see. I'll... Hmm. Yeah, he only sells shoes, socks, and bags. Which, he's the only guy you can get them from. Thrum. He sells art. They decorate items that you can't on your own. So they can do special items. And instead of using certain items... You yourself can actually do... You only need to pay them a certain amount. This guy... Really, he's only useful for this. Because he can... You can gain access to any of your items you have in storage. You can put items in storage. Or put grab them from storage. From him. Which makes sense for, there, for them. Sahara only here only sells rugs. and Yeah, she really only sells like rugs and wallpaper. And sh her, she right here is like a fortune teller. But I think that's about everything. I've showed you my island and I've kind of showed you what I was going to do. Oh. Hmm. Which one? Uh, I'm trying to find something. Hmm. Uh. Yep. 
So, with all that said, I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like and subscribe, and have a great day.